Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Surprise, surprise! We have a Universe Sim patch update. It is version 0.1.57. It's called Band-Aid Patch. Let's just get straight into it because this came out of nowhere. I, I, I knew there was two, there's supposed to be two patches coming out. This is one of them, so there's a second one coming out and then the full release. Let's hope that's true this time because I've been banging on about full release since March and uh, it hasn't happened. But anyway, here we go. Hello dear creators, we hope that you had a wonderful time this summer and that everyone is rested and prepared for the start of the new upcoming season. As many of you probably know, we recently moved our headquarters from San Diego, California to Dallas, Texas. This relocation caused some disturbance to our progress within the game but for the last two months, everyone on the Universe Sim team has been able to pick up the pace and move forward with extra speed. Recently, we added two additional programmers to our team, along with an additional concept artist. This should help us to speed up our development progress quite a lot. Due to that addition, we decided to release one more patch after this one. We heard a lot of you loud and clear that you would like to have some expansion on Exiles. Therefore, we dedicated a couple of people from our team to work specifically on military expansion. Wow, so intergalactic black market. We have some sort of map. That must be a map of the Exiles on our planet. Wow, that's pretty good. And we've got some icons there. That's the, the god powers for the Exiles. Yes, righto. Okay, let's keep moving on. This version 57 patch will be a bit unusual for us and for you. In this patch, we put a lot of attention to bug fixes and improvements to the current systems. Since we are currently in the end phase of the game, we are heavily concentrating on end game content and polishing. Therefore, this patch is very important for us to see if we were able to resolve some of the major issues within the game. We are constantly looking over the suggestions in our Discord, as well as the bugs that are being reported. Certain bugs have a higher priority than others. We are still trying to track one bug that does not allow us to save the game currently. In order to catch this bug, we implemented a system that will provide a warning message stating that during the game save, the game was not saved correctly, followed by the error that comes with this. Please, if you encounter that error, reach out to us via our Discord. With your help, we will be able to locate and track that error and fix it for good. I can't... Well, I haven't been playing the universe in for a good couple months. I haven't come across that, but yeah, maybe others have, clearly. Excellent, we've got some walking thing. Excellent. Now... To the content of this patch, here are some of the improvements and bug fixes that you will encounter. So improvements, increased size of the pollution warning notification, incorrect description for the garrison building, missing text for the lizard candy and massage buildings, incorrect translation within the main menu of the Twitch integration German language, bunker improvements, oh yeah this is a... Uh, this is great. We had this issue, right? Because we had a tornado rock through, went right over the bunker and just killed every nugget in there. It was ridiculous, but clearly it's been fixed. So that's excellent. And it must have been happening to every god power or, or, or like a natural disaster. So meteor strikes, lightning strikes, tornadoes, fire, volcano, earthquake, UFO crushing onto the bunker, drone explosion. Planet Cracker Stomp, Blizzard Storm, Firestorm. All of those were killing the nuggets in the bunker. Wow. Fierce Enemy Quest Drop Zone Ground pro Projection. Didn't look good when it was overlaid with the Quest Area Projector. Okay. Over 30 pop-up windows re reworked in order to be closed by pressing the Escape button. Buildings without... Assigned nuggets will have lower resource delivery priority compared to buildings that have nuggets working in them. Excellent. That's cool. Any nugget within the building will have a consistent interaction throughout the game. 
In other words, you can pick them up, use certain creator powers on them, etc. While they're inside the building. Yeah, this this was a thing where if the nugget was in the building, uh, it, even if you found their name on the list and you, you went to them and they're in the building, you couldn't act on them. You couldn't pick them up or anything like that. So yeah, that, that's pretty good. Nuclear plant received an, an assign all button. Colonization rockets and space trade will now have a different nugget priority when you are sending nuggets to other planets. Young and educated nuggets without a family will have the highest priority. Next will be medium to old age nuggets with an education, then young uneducated nuggets followed lastly by medium old uneducated nuggets. That's excellent. Fishing Hut received an indication icon above the building showcasing when there is no more fish to catch. Okay. I thought that was already implemented, but that's awesome. All mines that extracted all resources beneath them will automatically remove nuggets from the building and shut down the building. How, how good is that? That's awesome. System that will detect if the game is being saved incorrectly and will provoke a notification to the player. So they mentioned that before. And there's all the bug fixes. There's, there's quite a few. So I'll just leave it up there for a sec. You can pause it, read it, go for your life. But yeah, there's there's a there's a bit. There's a bit. So let's keep going. This, this is awesome. Um, so currently working on nuggets. We went through all the nuggets and their jobs in order to update their clothing and accessories for the modern and space ages. In total, over 20 different jobs will receive new outfits and over 20 new items as accessories will be added to them. Some of them you can check below. That is awesome. So this is something like we, we knew that as the ages progressed, their, their clothing changed. But look at look at the detail. Look at the detail. Every nugget and their job is different, and then they they got accessories to go with it. This is beautiful. So we've got a modern age builder. We have a space age builder. Nice visor. That's great. We have a modern age cemetery worker. We have a space age cemetery worker. We have a modern age cook. That is brilliant. Uh, that's acceptable. That looks like a chef. We have a modern age courier. Excellent. We have a space age courier. We have a doctor's box. And then a modern age doctor box. Then the space age doctor. Excellent. Then we have a modern age farmer. And a modern age firefighter. How good does this look? I'm super impressed with this firefighter. Because, uh, yeah, it used to be they just got the backpack and they throw the water bomb things. But this is, this is brilliant. This is brilliant. We have a space age firefighter. This is awesome as well. Modern age fisherman. And then we have a space age food collector place for logo. I, I wonder if that's a logo for what food they're collecting or oh, I'm not too sure. Maybe we can put our own logo there. Then we have a modern age food collector. Excellent. Modern age hunter. I haven't, I haven't seen a modern age hunter because th these guys are supposed to have those guns once you hit space age, but I haven't seen that yet. Then we have a Space Age Hunter. That looks brilliant. Uh, space Age Police. Bloody beautiful. And a Modern Age Priest. Where's the priest? Because uh, there's no church, right? We just have a cemetery. But that's awesome. Excellent. I'm, I'm happy with that. Modern Age Repairer. A Space Age Repairer. There's a lot. A Modern Age Stone Miner. Doesn't seem to have any clothes. A space age stone miner. We have a modern age teacher. Yes, look at the cardigan. Bloody beautiful. All right, let's keep going. There's more. Uh, defense towers. Defense towers are currently going through multiple stages of rework and upgrades. We are adding machine gun mode that will 
primarily target ground units where rockets will shoot anything flying up in the sky as well as the planet cracker. Excellent. Now we have the planet cracker. I am so looking forward to this. We are putting a lot of effort and polish into Planet Cracker. Upon full release, you will be able to encounter that evil machinery that has been created to stomp out civilization and destroy planets. Wow. Oh yeah, look, look at the rocket. Look at the towers shooting the... Man, that looks epic. Look at the animation. Oh, I'm so impressed. This is going to be interesting as well. I'm looking forward to this. Snapping tool. We received a lot of requests from the community to help with the arrangement of buildings and the addition of a snapping tool. One of our engineers is currently working hard on adding a snapping tool that will allow you to snap your buildings to the roads or other buildings, aligning them perfectly in a straight line. Oh, yes. Excellent. The new planets. We had mentioned that we create a system that allows us to create different planets. Now it is finally time to start making them. Our design team is working on brand new planets that you will be able to encounter during your journey. And then finally, finally we have the star map. The star map was created initially quite a few months ago, but it is still required requiring some polishing. Using a star map, you will be able to discover both planets and different space objects. Currently, our engineers are working on expanding star map functionality in addition to the new UI UX elements that should help with navigation. Final battle scene. Yes, you will have a proper finish of the game as well as some storyline. Even now, certain narrator phrases, quests, and other subtle elements within the game have some connection to the main story. After the final scene, we hope that you will be able to connect all the dots and figure out the connection. I'm intrigued. The final scene is currently ready from the technical side, but still requires some polishing and UI UX elements. Credit screen. The credit screen is... Also already created, but currently has a placeholder UI, which will be improved as we get closer to the actual end of the game. Below you can see the overall progress that we have made and where we are currently standing. So that's brilliant. There's yeah, a lot has been done. Localization, improvements and voice are probably just the things that are lagging, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, we hope that this will give you some understanding where we are and what we are currently working on. Thank you everyone for all your support and for staying with us. This means a lot to the entire team and we are grateful for having such an amazing community. We are almost at a finish line and we can't wait to show you all the things that we have worked on. Sincerely, the Crytivo crew. So that's brilliant, right? That is the end. So there is another patch coming out. If if we go by future patch releases, we would assume it'd be a month from now. And then fingers crossed, a month later we should get the full release. But I'm not saying anything more because I've been wrong since March. Anyway, thanks for watching guys. This is uh, a Wednesday video, so happy Wednesday. No live stream today, unfortunately. I am uh, out drinking with my mate. He's popped over from Adelaide, so we're catching up for some beers and some food. So yeah, and then there's a new video coming out on Friday, and then we'll be back to normal next week. Thanks everyone, enjoy, get back into the universe sim, it's not far from being finished. Take care, bye.